Um, Reno is pretty good recently. Make your title Tesla was Romanian. Not again, Tio. You don't want to heal power the Weaver. How is your latest or at least I don't want to heal power the Weaver. I think you're supposed to just level and only continue with demons if you get the Rewinder. I think otherwise it's just not worth it. I, fight for I used heal power turn 1 with Reno on a Weaver and I got to pay it. Classic uh, Reno situation. Okay, Selemental and Iki is like, whatever. Not the worst start. Yeah, I remember there was a time where hero powering Weaver as Reno was good, was okay. There used to be a time like this. Eh. I mean, there weren't many one-ups that we would have killed with the 1-1, so it's fine. How is your latest excursion? Rewinder? And not only Rewinder, guys. Also the backstage security. Pretty sick, let's go. Thank you, Artless Power. This shop was amazing. Pretty much gave us direction, gave us power. Next time we level and we go strong. Never Taekwondrius into top 6. That would be a classic result, to be honest. Beauty comes in all forms. Uh, Ben 2M2, thank you for the six months, Ben. Next time I want to go to four and roll. Hopefully find something good. Get bigger, get stronger. I want to heal power of four or five. I don't know. I want to heal power something that's worth it. Obviously, Taekwondrius or Zul are my main targets. But I'm sure there's like other things that could work. Perhaps a Magma Lock? I don't know. We'll see. Blizzard is so bold, they are showing me ads for Diablo 4, which is $70, and I don't even have $5 to sub kick W. Huh. I mean, if they don't market to gamers on Twitch, who they market to? A lot of people are not sub to like one particular streamer. Also, in general, if people have like leftover money, they would rather spend it like buy a game than to like subscribe to a streamer so i can see their marketing still i don't think it's that bad uh rylex seems really good if you get felemental i mean you have to buy the rylex right and if you get felemental you just win the game if you don't get felemental then kick double using chat i mean i basically stayed a little bit extra to try for this it's not too bad okay If I don't hit Felemental and I don't hit Felemental, I'll just give up. If I hit Felemental here, I'll legit hero power the Rylak. Play Felemental in the middle and start farming. Time to school the opponent. What happened in New York? Uh, from what I heard, there were some wildfires in Canada. And the smoke was like so much that it went uh, to New York. I'm 90 minutes south of New York and it's literally yellow outside. 
Well, it's a good time to stay inside then. I don't know how harmful it is to if you breathe it. Technically, it's just wood, but probably not healthy to like uh, inhale it too long. I don't know. Stay inside and play Diablo. I think in a spot like this, you should get duo first. And then triple right like next turn. Because then you can copy the five drop. And if it's like a sexy one, you can make it golden and then copy it. And then you have like a golden one and a normal one. And if you hit Trumpeteer, if you hit Mama Bear, if you hit Tychondrius, you just insta win the game. Pretty much. You're doing well for yourself. How healthy is smoking cigarettes, chat? It's only burnt plants. Don't they have some chemicals in there as well? I'm not a smoker, so I don't know. But yeah, I guess anything that you inhale like that for like a big duration of time is probably not good for you. That's why I asked though, because I wasn't sure. Banana Slama is interesting as well. I can get Golden Banana, Normal Banana. Uh, without Taekwondigus. I think you have to go for Taekwondigus, right? It's Golden Taekwondigus and Normal Taekwondigus. Can you believe I'm gonna kick the Rylak? Are you on the gifts list? I mean, this is just the best play. You have Golden Taekwondo's, Normal Taekwondo's, Basic Security for a little bit, Trickster and Rewinder is like perfect. It doesn't get better than this. And now you just wanna like buy demons, ideally find the uh, Prince. Malkizar, Prince of Dance. This game went perfect because I didn't force Rylak. I took Rylak out of Golden it with Felemental. I found a better line. I'm pursuing the better line. And I'm not winning. You're doing well for yourself. So the Bahana Slama is still a problem to some extent. Huh. Okay. We're not taking damage. This is perfect. This is great. Consider it a learning opportunity. I think you cut the duel. Ooh, we found the prince. Wow. I mean, this is just perfect. The only question is, should you ever not freeze this so that you can triple it after you got two rolls, two rolls to get four more rolls in the same turn? Or is that just like way too greedy and like not necessary? I think it's not necessary because you can find another prince later on and it's still gonna be like really good and perfectly fine.
Too bad damage cap is still on. So I can now kill this guy straight. Bro, calm down. This is just turn 9. How do you trying to throw on losable game? I just believe guys. It's fine. We're not in any hurry, okay? I'm doing a very greedy play, but I think I can afford to do it. Miss triple? Uh, when what? I missed one Weaver into another Weaver. I'm not gonna triple the Weaver. Who cares about Weaver? The only thing that Weaver does is prog my Tychondriuses. And yes, I am boardwalked until I triple the Prince of Dance. And maybe I'll regret it by never getting offered another Prince of Dance. I don't know, chat, you tell me. Why are you trying to throw one game? I'm not trying to throw. I'm trying to limit test and see what I can do. I didn't freeze the Prince of Dance because I was greedy. Maybe it was wrong, we'll see. If you're playing in a tournament, would you play the same way? No, I'll probably triple the Markezar. need. He found a decent combo on a bad hero and he's fighting like super absurd composition on turn 10. So need is gonna have all the monetizations for the next game. Poor guy. See? This is what I wanted. No luck evolved. Time to kill scabs! Bro, it's turn 11, calm down. Most people are gonna go for beasts. Should I go for like a Cinderai just to like play around the beast players? Why buy second rewinder and not buy second trickster? Good question. Second trickster was probably better. I'm just way too comfortable because I hired so much and I'm not thinking. But I should be thinking. Because look, my opponent is also doing some powerful things. We don't wanna throw the game. Yeah, he's very powerful, actually. I'm more powerful than him now, but in like a few turns, fuck knows. Okay, he's not gonna have a few turns, he's dead. But... Yeah, because of things like this, you shouldn't get too comfortable. You don't wanna get the second place in the game that you... would have steamrolled. So yeah, let's buy the second trickster. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be more focused now, okay? I'll be more focused. I don't want to buy every single demon. Every little minion helps. Yeah, Bran is not needed. This price seems more than fair. I don't want to cut anything. Not now. Not needed. Pirates, beasts, mechs, beasts. Okay. Against the beast players, should I try to like farm some zaps maybe perhaps? Hmm. 
I'm still thinking. Cut Weaver so slow. I mean, Weaver is very important. I'll cut Weaver for like a Prince or something, but I don't want to cut Weaver for like no reason. Twishot is definitely undermining and underestimating Weaver. Pretty much every single demon I play with Weaver on the board is giving 2-2 two, two to 5 demons, but 4 permanent ones, and 1-1 one, one to also 4 permanent demons. Aren't all your demons permanent? I can see some situations where I'm gonna kick the Malkizar. Or the Weaver. I'm not sure. You're making top marks. This is my first stream in a while. It's 6 a.m. for me. Just stayed up all night. Glad you're still streaming. I mean, I just started my stream. Normally I start at 1 p.m. my time and I stream like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hours. I don't really have like a super fixed uh, schedule. I go depending on the day. The one consistent thing is that I stream six days per week, generally. Um, and I started 1 p.m. Romanian. You keep killing people the turn before they pop off. Yeah, what makes me afraid is like seeing how many people were close to a really powerful build that would compete with mine. What if one of them already did that build and I cannot stop them anymore? Second Taekwondo use is interesting. I missed a demon there, but I wanted, I don't know, something better. I'm not gonna buy every single demon, you know. I'm buying the important shit. Now you can cut the Weaver and play Taekwondo with, with uh, the Prince. And you might get more stats from doing that. Do I need to care about the Beast player? Get like a Sindori, get like a Zap? Let's just buy the Cinderai. Yeah, Cinderai is just like a why not situation. You might as well get it. What music genre do you listen to the most? Probably hip hop. Because I'm hip. No, I'm not. Um It takes dedication to maintain your rank. Beauty comes in all forms. Okay. This guy took 20 from Hogar, so we can expect a little bit more when we're fighting Hogar than this guy. Splama's not so good here. They're okay though. It's not exceptional. Average turn 13 board. The thing is, my scaling is linear. Is linear scaling good enough in this moment? I probably could have went for second golden Taekwondoius if I had the patience. So if I lose because of a linear reason, I need to also think myself why that is the case. By the way, I could have played Taekwondoius over the Weaver. Should I go to 6? Maybe I should. Just to have like biggest tavern possible. Biggest tavern possible means also highest chance for the free free demon. Highest chance to triple Taekwondo use. I don't need to take anything because I'm 30 health and dominating. But I need to just be present. What I mean with that is like I need to be aware of like how the lobby is moving. So that if I have to do a change, bam, we do it. We implement it. Did you get to play Diablo after all? No, I haven't. I I, I said it on stream multiple times. I just want to focus only on Battlegrounds. It's my only game. Unless I get offered a sponsorship for, for a game, of course. But I want even in my free time to just think of Battlegrounds. 
and do the best battlegrounds team I can do. Hydration redeemed. It seems you're in the lead. When can we expect the next variety stream? Uh, if I get sponsored to play a game. Otherwise, only battlegrounds. I thought about it and I did too, I did too much variety at the beginning of the year. I don't want to be a variety streamer. I, I want to be a one game streamer. I want to be the best one game streamer I can be. How was your latest excursion? I like the percussionist. I don't like how powerful this guy was. We might have a fucking problem. Do you see that? The final ingredient. Four unfortunate souls. Hellbat is not even that good at farming. Oh my god. I feel like we are legit gonna get outscaled. I didn't play the percussionist because I didn't have the rewinder on the board that would be taking damage. I'm not gonna buy the queen. I need to outscale this guy. Demon on demon. If I play the queen there, I feel like that's not the natural scaling that you're gonna go for. Dude, this is so crazy that I'm getting outscaled. I definitely should have tried to triple the Taekwondo's. Oh my god. Maybe I need to go for selfless. Somebody in chat is right. This is like one of my faults. Whenever I'm having like a directional scaling composition, instead of like trying to like figure out the best way I can scale and become like impossible to beat, I, I get a little bit comfortable and then I mess up. You're making top marks. Oh my god. What if this guy is gonna also have enough stats to beat me? He got a fucking horse, dude. I think I would never lose here, but he got the horse. I can probably lose to a 1000-1000 horse. Yeah, I probably lose to that. Dude, how am I losing control of this lobby? This is not good. I mean, the only good part about this is that now they fight each other, so I have one extra turn. But they, they, they always have, they also have one extra turn. Oh my god, okay, I need to focus a bit more. I feel like losing control of this lobby is a disaster. I was so far ahead, I should have never lost. The queen is better than Lyra if I want to go that route, right? Should I buy the Lyra as well, though? Ah, probably not. I need to triple the Taekwondo use. Or just cut Taekwondo use and go crazy. I have one more turn, we can try to like do it. And we can try to play like a queen or something. Queen, Leroy, whatever. Missed selfless. I mean, I have to think if I want to go for selfless or if I want to go for, like... If somehow the beast guy wins against the beast guy, I can go Sin Dorai. I'm not board locked. I can always decide to cut the Taekwondrius. But if I do that, then I won't even get that much stronger, to be honest. It's a bad spot. It's a really, really bad spot. Ozumat is killing like crazy with the golden dealer and the normal dealer and the magma lock and shit. We need a backup plan for that. We need a queen, or we need golden selfless, if that is going to cut it. Titus is not good. Another mistake that I made is like not keeping the duo. I think I should have kept the duo and go for double golden taekwondrius. I needed to know the pieces of scaling that I wanted. To some extent, even cutting the weaver, I think was a mistake because I lose some scaling. I don't know if Prince, even two of them, is enough here to compensate.
I'm really curious who wins here between the beast player and the stats guy. The stats guy was like really big stats though. Which worries me a lot. Okay, it's us against the stats. Let's first roll. I'll buy selfless. I don't want to buy another Leroy. I feel like one Leroy is enough. Okay, I'll cut Icondrius. Let's go Percussionist. Jagastus is okay. Like one thing it was. Night there. Second Jaraxus. Okay. Okay. I'm missing so many stats from the potential weaver. Have you considered hiring some help? That will perform well. To play this guy with the rolls faster. Oh, I, did, I actually didn't play because I don't want to commit. Something like this. If I'm not strong enough here, it's gonna be harder to get stronger than this. Okay, we killed the biggest minion of our opponent. Still not big enough to get the lethal. That was an excellent display. Hmm. Is plus one plus two even worth it? I want to look for the Leroy for the cycle or for another selfless. An exciting addition to your class. Every little minion helps. Yeah, it's killing quite well right now. Hopefully. I'm scaling better than my opponent. Zap against his Leroy is decent, but I feel like Leroy is better. Ah, my Leroy missed! My Leroy missed like crazy there. Ah! Bullshit! 
Had 50% to kill. Bro! Time to try again. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> we can tell that. Sorry. I don't want to yell too much. Mecha J is good. I'm looking for another Taekwondo, so I'm looking for another Selfless. I'm scaling so much, I should win. You're making top marks. Unreal. And gets another Leroy! Bro! This game is making me lose my mind. It's okay, I need to stay calm, I need to stay calm. It's okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Chat is like, stay calm, you dumb dumb. Calm down, streamer. Start with the basics. How powerful. I am much too generous with these refunds. I didn't get the titus because I don't have space for titus. Nothing scares me, except mice. What if I just open on the selfless? I feel like I should be scaling better. I should be scaling better. Oh, opponent left. I was getting so stressed because I literally had an insta win situation and I made some mistakes in not having long term planning and this almost cost me. Hmm. Yeah, my minions are getting really big. Scaling more than the Magma Lock, which is kind of crazy. He sold his scaling way too early. Uh, which was his scaling? The 6 drop, right? The Fleet Admiral Tetis. Still turn 20 game. What the hell? I got too comfortable mid game. I got too comfortable mid game. That was my mistake. I, I got too comfortable mid game. Game was insane. Game was insane. <laughs> 